Kagia Utsutsuki, the mother of all chakra, versus Yuha, the father of all Quincy's. Who wins? Kagia and Yuha are the main villains of their respective show. If the two of them were to battle, who would truly win? In this video, I'll only discuss their AP and speed. Now without further ado, let's start with Kagia and Yuha's AP. Kagia had enough chakra to threaten the destruction of our dimension, which according to the novels are parallel universes, which will scale Kagia to universal. In terms of AP, now how does Yuha stack up to this? Yuha, the almighty, threatened the existence of all three realms, Wekumundo, the living world, and the soul society. The soul society being universally sized as it's parallel to the living world, which is our universe, even containing starry skies, galaxies, and an infinite sized pocket dimension known as Muken. Even Wekumundo is stated to be an infinite sized realm. The destruction of all these realms will also include Gaganta, a barrier that connects all three realms and is also stated to be infinite or endless. This alone scales Yuha to low multiversal in terms of AP. Now we get to speed. Kagea's speed will be about KCM1 Naruto, who is faster than Narai Kage and is stated to be faster than light. And with this calc, this will scale Naruto and Kagea massively faster than light. And as for Yuha, he was able to cover the Soul Society, which have proven to be infinite, scaling Yuha to infinite speed. With all that in mind, who truly wins between the battle of the gods, Kagea or Yuha? The answer is the almighty Yuha. The reason why Yuha wins is because he outskills Kagia in both strength and speed. Yuha being low multiversal with infinite speed, whilst Kagia being universal with MFTL speeds. Anyways, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe and share. And tell me which other versus videos you guys want me to make in the comment section. Alright, I'm out.